There were a lot of 9-11 memorial events across the Tampa Bay region today, but we found that one of the biggest crowds was here at Curlew Hills Memory Gardens in Palm Harbor. The reason was to hear from one survivor who shared a harrowing tale of what it was like that day 17 years ago at the World Trade Center. What I saw was a pretty horrifying scene. Year after year, Joy Singh relives the horror of what she saw on 9-11 when she was in a room at the World Trade Center Hotel. It was fire, metal, debris, glass, and so much debris just raining outside my window. Hundreds here in Palm Harbor came out not just to honor the lives lost in the attacks, but to remember that day through Ng's story. And outside, the first person I saw was a police officer. He was yelling. He kept screaming something over and over again. He was yelling, get out of this area and don't look up. The ceremony at the gardens included remarks from Ron DeSantis. And I just want to say, God bless you all for coming out. A lowering of the flag. A somber ringing of the bell. And lighting a memorial fire in honor of the fallen. For Ng, who now lives in Boston, we wanted to know why every September 11th, she travels to a new city to share an old and painful memory. I do this because it's really important for us to remember 9-11, remember the people who were there, and also represent the voices of the survivors that day. Even well after the event has concluded, you can still see here behind me people reading through the names, looking at the new memorials, remembering those lives lost on 9-11. In Palm Harbor, J.B. Buno, News Channel 8.